Hello everyone, and welcome back to another new album video. Uh, we're now on week 45, and this week we're taking a look at Live from the Royal Albert Hall by The Killers. Uh, first released November 9th, 2009. Some notable tracks off this album include Somebody Told Me, When You Were Young, All These Things That I've Done, and Read My Mind. Um, this album was actually rec recommended to me by a friend. And it's a very good um, live album. So apparently it was released on um, DVD or Blu-ray. Um, it's a two, it was a two-night show um, at the Royal Albert Hall, um, I think in July of 2009. And then they did a um, a CD version that was, I think, just uh, maybe co co combining like various um, songs from each of the nights to create a um, a live album kind of very similar to the way uh, oasis did the um 1996 nebworth um album so that was a two-night show the blu-ray has i think both full shows on it and then the album has like it's like this song is from night one this song is from night two and so on but i have some notes here about this we'll get through those we'll get through the track list and all that kind of stuff let me actually just pull this open here. There we go. So, um, live from the Royal Albert Hall, like I mentioned, um, November 9th, 2009. Um, I think my first interaction with the Killers was probably in 2007. I think their debut came out in like 2004, and I believe I covered it on the um, 52 Essential Albums series last year. I'll leave a link in the description to check that one out. Um, because Hot Fuss is an incredible album, a great debut from them. Uh, some of my favorite killer songs are off of that album. But I'll leave a link in the description to check that one out. Um, but I think it was like 2007 or so, and I think it was probably Guitar Hero 3. Could have been Rock Band, because like at the time, a lot of the songs were, you would have a song in Rock Band that would also show up in Guitar Hero. Um, and I think it was, um, I think the song was When You Were Young. That was probably the first um, killer song that I had heard. Or at the very least, the first song I heard from them where I knew who the band was. Because it, it showed up in one of those games. Um, I think some other killer songs eventually showed up in some of the other Guitar Hero or Rock Band games um, at some other point. But I, I believe the first one that they used in those games was uh, When You Were Young. So... First heard them in 2000, uh, in 2007 off, off one of those games. Um, again, like we mentioned earlier, this was recorded or recorded over two nights in July. So July 5th and July 6th of 2009. It was released as like a DVD in Blu-ray as well as um, an audio CD. I need to bring up a quote here that we bring up later in the video. So there we go. Let me just pull this back up. We'll get to the, we'll get back to that in just a second. Um, so the album artwork kind of right there uh, apparently is kind of modeled off after and is done in the same art style as um, one of their albums, Day and Age. So kind of very similar um, art style on both of those album covers. Um, there's a quote here from the lead singer, uh, Brandon Flowers, about the concert and how they chose this one to do a, um, a live album of. So we actually just pull that quote up here. Um, so basically, the decision to do this was, this is their first live DVD, and they kind of chose this location, and the reasoning behind it is in this quote here. So it says, quote, London's always been a, sorry, let's start over. So quote, London's always been very good to us. They opened their arms to us before um, anybody else did, and Royal Albert Hall is a very iconic and special place. I grew up watching Morrissey videos that he had um, filmed there, so it was really exciting to be part of it. So it's kind of how they chose the uh, Royal Albert Hall, like iconic um, music venue, obviously in uh, in London. I believe uh, Spice World, the finale of Spice World, is them basically just trying to get to the Royal Albert Hall to do their concert. Uh, the album came out to, to some decent reviews. Let me actually pull those reviews up really quick. So um, All Music looks like has it at a, um, let's see what that is. It is a three and a half out of four there. Um, I guess it's IGN has it at a four and a half out of five. Rolling Stone has it at a four out of five. And Star Pulse has it at a five out of five. So some decent um, 
decent reviews on that. Uh, but I'm going to go off of the, we're going to do two different track lists for this album. Let me actually put the notes down. Two different track lists. One is the DVD. So the DVD has all of the songs across uh, both nights. And then we'll get to the kind of condensed CD version um, as well. So uh, we're doing the DVD first. So track one on the DVD is uh, Interlude, uh, followed by uh, track two is Human. Track three is This Is Your Life. Uh, track four is Somebody Told Me. So one of um, definitely one of the more iconic tracks here, Somebody Told Me, is, uh, is great. Uh, track five is For Reasons Unknown. And that's an extended version of that one. Uh, track six is The World We Live In. Track seven is Joyride. Track eight is I Can't Stay, and it has a few additional, like, piano, like, bits to it. Um, that was so, uh, that was track eight. Track nine is Bling. Track, um, ten, or track, uh, I'm sorry, that's track nine is, um, Bling. Track ten is Shadow Play. Uh, track eleven is Smile Like You Beat It. That's a classic, uh, from them. Track twelve is Losing Touch. Uh, track thirteen is, um, uh, is he Spaceman? Track 14 is a um, Buster Lynn fairy tale. Uh, track 15 is Sam's Town. That was a, an acoustic version of that. Track uh, 16 is Read My Mind. Track 17 is Mr. Brightside. One of their most iconic tracks. Maybe their most iconic, depending on uh, who you talk to. It's not my personal favorite, but it's definitely up there. So track 17 is Mr. Brightside. Uh, track 18 is All the Things That I've Done. And if, for my money, that's my favorite track from them. Um, and the live version of that song on this album is just incredible. Like, you have the audience doing the, um, you know, it's like, I've got soul, but I'm not a soldier. It, 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 the, the audience adds a lot to this album. So track 18 is all the all these things that I've, that I've done. Um, let's see, track 18 is Sweet Talk. Track 20 is... This, um, sorry, this river is wild. Track 21 is Bones. Track uh, 22 is um, Jenny was a friend of mine. Track 23 is When You Were Young. And then, um, I don't, yeah, I don't know if it was all from one night, but um, track 24 is um, uh, Exit Lude. Track uh, 25 is Tranquilizer. That's from a different, that's from a different concert in 2008. It's a bonus footage there. Uh, track 20, um, 29 is, or sorry, 25 is Tranquilizer, 26 is Human. That's some Hyde Park, some more bonus footage. That's track 26. Track 27 is Mr. Brightside. Track um, 28 is Smile Like You Beat It from the V Festival. So these, these last few songs are all like bonus uh, tracks. Um, and then um, track 29 is When You Were Young from the V Music Festival as well. So that's the list for the DVD. The CD, a little more condensed. It's only 17 tracks. Um, let's see here, about an hour and 18 minutes overall for the CD version. DVD version, I don't think, has an actual time on it, at least on this thing I'm reading. Um, but so on the CD, um, track one is Human. Track two is This Is Your Life. Track three is Somebody Told Me. Uh, track four is The World We Live In. Um, track five is I Can't Stay. Track six is uh, Bling. Track seven is Shadow Play. Um, that's a, a Joy Division cover. Uh, track eight is Smile Like You Mean It. Track nine is Losing Touch. Uh, track ten is Space Man. Track eleven is a um, Bustland Fairy Tale. Track twelve is Sam's Town. Uh, another again acoustic on that one. Track thirteen is Read My Mind. Track fourteen is Mr. Brightside. Uh, track fifteen is All These Things That I've Done. Track 16 was Jenny was a friend of mine. And then track 17 is When You Were Young. So uh, When You Were Young, I don't remember what album that was off of. I don't think it was their first. Let me see. It was off of Sam's Head, which I think is like their second. Yeah, that was like their second one. But um, a lot of good stuff off Hot Fuss. A lot of good stuff off their second album as well. Um, good stuff off of pretty much all their albums up to that point. Um, I definitely feel like, um, like I said... Um, all these, these things that I've done is probably my overall favorite track from them. Um, kind of across all... I haven't listened to everything they've done, but from what I've heard, um, and I've listened to a few of their albums, 
that's probably my favorite. And the live version of that song on this album is just, just incredible. Um, so really glad my friend recommended that I check this album out. Um, kind of was just asking around for like recommendations and um, a bunch of my friends just came through with some really good stuff. So glad this one was recommended. Um, again, we are not, this is week 45, so we just got a few more weeks to go. Like, for, like I said, like, see if I can do math. I think we got like seven left uh, in the year before we're done in this series. Don't know what we'll be doing for the 2025 music series. Um, I really do want to, at some point, get my top 100 albums kind of like nailed down. I mean, it's always obviously going to be always in flux because there's new music coming out all the time. So, but want to do a top 100 series at some point. Don't think that'll be next year because I really want to focus on that and get everything kind of like set aside. So I might do that like the year after. There'll definitely be a new music series or a music series uh, for 2025. Just don't know what that's going to be just yet. But um, that's going to do it for this video. We'll be back again uh, next week with a whole new album. No idea what that one's going to be just yet, but we'll be back with that. So thanks again for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll see you again next time. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one. See ya.